Yeah, there we go. Hello, all you people, back with another video. Um, if you haven't noticed, I changed my name to um Curb Stomper 57. I try to change it back to um Dirty Deeds one two three, but they said Google Plus limits how much you um change your name. So I might be that for a while. I don't know. It might be that permanently. I have no idea. But today I'm just gonna. You know, we're starting a new series it's called Let's Talk Tuesdays. We're gonna be talking about wrestling, anything, you know. Not really anything, just wrestling. Um, I watched Straw last night. What? Like, I almost threw up when I heard they changed Curtis Axel's name to Axelmania. Why, WB? Just because it's a gimmick doesn't mean he has to overthrow it to put freaking Axelmania as his freaking name. Macho Mando, oh what? I'm confused. Didn't Damien Sandow come out the the Raw after he lost to the Miz? Cause you know it was for the Miz brand and Miz won. So um, Sandow came out um, that next week talking about he's gonna be himself, not be this gimmicky guy who co tries to copy other people. What did he do? Goes back to the gimmick thing. What WB? This is WB. This is not him. Like going up to the freaking. Going up freaking Vince McMahon saying, hey, I want to do the gimmick thing again. They actually told him to do that. Not saying it's a bad thing, but didn't he just say he wasn't going to do that anymore? Um, Elimination Chamber. Dropping bombs everywhere, WWE. You're freaking... Put, you, too many pay-per-views. That's all I got to say. Why, why would you even replace Elimination Chamber in the first place? Because it's a PG era. We can't see men get slammed down on steel gates outside... You know, on Elimination Chamber. So, I think it's because the PG era they just replaced it with some retarded gimmick show called Fastlane. But, you know, I'm not saying Fastlane sucks or anything, but I like the whole, you know, Fastlane thing. But, seriously, why would you replace Fastlane with Elimination Chamber? That Elimination Chamber, I bet, would have been awesome this year. But, you know, Fastlane was uh, rated, was rated kind of iffy because. One, the crowd just sucked. Tennessee, like, things actually happened in pay-per-view that were amazing, but they were just so blank, quiet, and everything. But it's, it's just crazy how WWE works things out when they just add stuff or, like, change this or change that or give who this gimmick or give that gimmick, whatever. It just frustrates me sometimes, WWE, when they just do stuff. But I guess it's best for business according to Triple H, Stephanie McMahon, and Vince McMahon, but not saying that um, they can't do anything or they can't think of anything, but seriously, seriously. But, um, yeah, this, this video just talking about how I feel about um, everything that, that's just been going on WWE, especially with the pay-per-view bombing. First, out of nowhere, King of the Ring on the network, watch it. I actually missed it and then watched it the following morning. But, um, seriously, first King of the Ring, and then a month later, it's Elimination Chamber, and it's a week after Payback, and Payback is this Sunday. I will be doing some more, um, pay-per-view, um, reviews, like, kickoff show review of Macho Mandel, Axel Mania taking on the Ascension. Finally, the Ascension getting put on TV, because they've been wrestling the freaking Lucha Dragons, um, on, like, main event and superstars and stuff like that, so, you know. But seriously, WWE, just, just I'm, in my opinion, disappointing. But, you know, it's whatever. I will be doing a review on the um, pre-show. We'll be doing a recap of the whole entire show. I will take notes again. Hopefully, I'll have the network next month on in June and July and so on. I really want to have it in August or when the um, summer slime's coming up because there have been many rumors about Balor debuting. I mean, B Balor, Finn Balor of NXT debuting. Um, Sami Zayn might debut earlier than that. I don't know. Probably will debut around that time as well. But the weird thing is, um, Neville has been around. No, it's not even weird. Neville's been around longer than Zayn. Zayn debuted May of 2013. I think um, Neville. <laughs> yeah, Neville's been around since 2012. Like the ever since. NXT, it was actually NXT, because if you remember back all the way 2010 on sci-fi, NXT used to be a game show. We'd run around the arena, do a whole bunch of 
crazy stuff like drink soda, run down these steps, jump through hoops for points to get to eliminate people, which was was entertaining at the, at that um time, that era of WWE, but just now if you look back and see what NXT is now, you're just ashamed of that, which is just crazy. But seriously, um NXT Unstoppable next week. Um hope y'all like to subscribe, catch you in the next video. Hope y'all like the let's talk. Um just talking about WWE and what's going on. Ignore the doorbell, someone's at my door. I'm gonna go get it. I'll catch you all in the next video.